Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the zeros of this function using the TI-84 calculator. So in this example here, all of the zeros of the function are real numbers. So we're going to find it by graphing this function and finding the x-intercepts. So to do that, we're going to hit the y equals key right here. And then I'm going to hit clear. And now I'm going to type in the function. So we have x to the fourth. So the variable key is here, so x. The exponent key is down here. It's this caret key. That's what it's called. So I'm going to click it. Then you'll notice it takes us to the exponent. So now I'm going to press 4. And you'll notice that we're still in the exponent area. So in order to come down from the exponent region, you have to click the right arrow key. So I'm going to click it. And then minus. Now it's really important that you click the minus sign instead of the negative sign down here. So minus 2, and then back to x, and then here's our exponent key, and then 2, and then the right arrow key, and then plus, and then 1. And always double check, just do a visual check to make sure that what you entered in your calculator matches what you have in the problem. So then you hit graph. And then here is the graph. Now my graph is already zoomed in, so if you're doing this for the first time, uh, your graph, I'm going to zoom out so you see what it might look like, your graph probably looks like this. So what you can do to get a better visual is click zoom, and then go down to 2, and then hit enter, and then hit enter again, and this will give you a better picture. So you can clearly see from the graph that the x-intercepts, or the zeros, are negative 1 and 1. Those are both of the zeros of this function. But let's suppose that for some reason it wasn't as obvious, because it's not always as obvious. What you can do is use the calc key. So calc is a blue key, and so to access it you have to hit second first. So you hit second, trace, and we're looking for the zeros, so you go to zero, then you hit enter, and let's find the one here on the left first. So it says left bound, that means that our flashing cursor has to be to the left of where the zero is. So I'm going to move the cursor over by repeatedly pressing the left arrow key. Okay, that's good. Anywhere up here is fine. We're to the left of where the zero is. The zero is where it touches the x-axis. Then you hit enter one time. Now it says right bound. So you hit the right arrow key several times. Travel over here. Hit enter one time. It says guess. Just hit enter again. And there is the answer. x equals negative 1 is the 0. Let's find the 1 over here on the right. So you hit second. Trace. You go down to where it says 0. And then you hit enter one time. Then you move your cursor all the way over here because we want to be to the left of where the zero is. So the zero is right here where it touches the x-axis. Our cursor is to the left, so things are good. So you hit enter one time. Now it says right bound, so we move our cursor all the way to the right. So we are to the right of where it touches the x-axis. Hit enter one time. Then just hit enter again. And it's working. Now it says 0.99999 and a bunch of nines in a 5.2. That's just one. So the answer here is one. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. That's it.